Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. Just going to show you real quick how to do the hot spot method, man. Um, as you can see right here, I have played. Well, we, we, we're going to show you everything until I. All right, there we go. As you can see, I have the fake hot spots in the season. Obviously, I didn't play this much to take this amount of shots because the shots are too well distributed, right? So we know I didn't do that. Right here, you see I have absolutely no hot spots. It is what it is. So we got no as hot spots, no hot spots. Hot spots, no hot spots. Check it out. We're only in April right now. So if anybody tells you that you have to, you can simulate to the playoffs to give yourself a better chance at the hot spots, but you don't have to simulate to the playoffs. The only thing you have to do is simulate out um, until you see that your guy's taking enough shots. It, the number to me, it seems to be about 60 to 70 shots. And, um, you know, you want to be over like 50% or something like that. But the main thing is, I'm going to fast, I'm gonna start fast forwarding because we don't need to see Shaq and Kenny and all that good stuff. But the main thing is this. Um, and I wouldn't even fast forward through this, but then I had to play the checkers and chess game and stuff like that. The main thing is, the way that I did it was this. I went ahead and I played the games uh, I played, y'all saw I was working on my guy, so I, I, I went ahead and played a lot of, uh, like, game, you know, the first couple of games or whatever. Um, once I got him up, got his badges, got all of that stuff, I simulated out of the first season. Once I simulated out of the first season, I didn't, um, I simulated out of the first season, I didn't have any hot spots because I'd only been shooting primarily from one spot. So I knew that, wouldn't, that wasn't going to get me by. So simulated out of the first season. Simulated through the playoffs. When you go into the next season, you will have your hot spots. Some people wanted to know that. So you will have your hot spots. All I wanted to do, um, all you got to do once you do that, uh, like I said, I got all my badges, got everything that I wanted. Um, so he so he would be able to shoot better. I didn't know if it affects it or not. But you go ahead and get all your badges, do all of that. Simulate out the first season. And then once you once you simulate through the first season, get, get that out of the way. Coming to your next season, and then I simulated to April because I felt like, you know, that was a good spot because he'd taken 100 points. Um, I did also play the first couple of games to get him on fire. You can play to get him on fire. You can simulate until he gets on fire. He's going to get on fire regardless. But uh, I waited till he was on fire. Once he was on fire, I simulated out to, like, April. But I didn't simulate straight out to April. I simulated until I saw that his spots were, were getting more and more, what have you. So, you know, once he got over 100 shots and I saw everything was bright red, then I, I went ahead and simulated, um, you know, simulated out to April. Once you do that, you have to come into a game and play at least part of the game, right? So you don't have to play the entire game. You come into the game, I, I just come in, make one shot, and uh, after you make one shot, you can simulate to the end of the game. Simulate to the end of the game, you come out, and then you take a look, and you should have your hot spots. So I didn't have any hot spots before, prior to that game, right? But after this game, you can see I have all my hot spots, except for the one at the top of the key. But does anybody actually take a, a two-pointer from the top of the key anyway? I never, I never have anyway, man. So it is what it is. But like I said, man, this is this is the method that I used. I went ahead, I went ahead, and I played a lot of the first season to get him up, to get to get his to get his uh, consistency up. Because what the game is going to do, the game is going to score points and do things very similar. To the things that you do right so if you if you're scoring a bunch of points a game the game is going to try to replicate that so you want to go ahead and set a baseline first once you set that baseline you're able to you're able to get your badges do all of that good stuff try to try to get your player as close to like 89 as you can or whatever just 88 89 just try to get him up there so that he'll perform better in the my career games when he's simulated so you play some games set a baseline then you can simulate out of the first season once you get a lot of your badges then once you get into the second season, play a couple of games until you get, you know, on fire. That's what I did. You don't have to do that. You can simulate. Play a couple of games or simulate until you get on fire. Once you get on fire, then just simulate out to like April or whatever. Or you can just simulate a few games at a time or, you know, a, a month at a time. And then you can see the shots. You can see the, the number of shots going up. Once they get over like 70 or so, that's when you should be activating hotspots. And um, depending on what type of shooter you have, this is what you're going to see. And then all you have to do after that is go into a game, make one shot, and then after you make the shot, you simulate through the rest of that game, and boom, this is what you got right here. And like I said, man, it, it doesn't get any easier than this. Um, you can do it on 
however many minute quarters. None of that really matters as long as you as long as you set a baseline for yourself, man. Anyway, hope hopefully this works for some of you guys. And uh, you enjoyed this thing, and, and like I said, I can verify that it still works. Some people thought it didn't work anymore, but yes, it definitely still works. But anyway, man, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you got anything else that you need, I'll do a video on how to get defensive stopper and all that later on. Some people were asking about that, so I'll do that. But anyway, I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Hello! And one more thing, man. Why are people in the comments talking about you just need to adapt to the game and stuff like that. Listen, why couldn't you adapt to a game where you couldn't make layups because you because you were trash? But I need to adapt to a game where everybody that's trash can make layups. Have you ever thought about that? If you were blowing layups in the past, maybe you just trash, man. Um, that's what we. That's what people are actually upset about. We're tired of this game setting an equalizer balance for people that are that are garbage. A lot of y'all are trash. I see your records when you pull up and play against me, you get slapped. So I know a lot of y'all are trash, but it is what it is. Everybody ain't playing with randoms either because you always pull up with a squad when you play against me. If you were missing layups prior to this update and this patch, and I'm just showing you right here again, if you're missing up layups prior to this update into this patch, then you are bad because we didn't miss layups. This dude right here has a 38 layup, and I never missed him. I hit the dang reverse layup habitually because I was better than people. Now you got sharpshooters, contact dunking people. That's not supposed to happen. Y'all don't understand. Y'all cherry pick and choose what you want to take from the video when the at the end of the day, the point was not that people are making layups more consistently. They boosted everything, so now people are dunking on people that should not be dunking. But it is what it is, man. I should have known that your feeble brains were incapable of encompassing the, the, the knowledge that I was trying to bestow upon you guys. I know that. It's my fault for even responding to you. I'm just gonna start the block party from here on. I can't block nothing in the game, I'm just gonna block people in the comments because y'all just be stupid. Like, I can stand for disrespect, I just can't stand for outright stupidity. And that's what you guys are doing. You guys literally want a game where guys can do everything and that should not be the case when Anyway, anyway, we already had 2K16, man, and 15. But anyway, like I said, trash bags want everything to happen because they're looking out for themselves. And, uh, you know, I would say I was a trash bag, but I shoot 60% from three and 60% from the field. And I got like a what, 70, 80 win percentage or something like that. And none of y'all, you know, only, only a few people got that. But the people that have that, they're not complaining about anything. You see? See how that works? The people that got the stats that I got were agreeing with me, but the people that don't were saying that layups needed to be buffed because they were blowing wide open layups when you just missed timing it because you're trash. But it is what it is, man. I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! And the, vi and the, the layups I was blowing in my video, I should have been blowing them joints. It was a miracle that I was able to make them with a 38 layup, but it is what it is, man. But hey, y'all saw that at the end of the video. 31,000 points, man. But anyway, I'm gone, man. Peace.